This clinical case deals with a 55-year-old woman who has a previous history of bariatric surgery. She was admitted to the hospital for upper GI hemorrhage with iron deficiency-related anemia. The upper GI endoscopy shows one gastric and one duodenal angioma. A small bowel video capsule was performed after appropriate bowel preparation, 2 liters of polyethylene glycol. The first step is to select the name of the patient from the list. This screen displays all of the features of the reading software, with the most useful for diagnosis being the express selected mode. At this stage, the quality of the recording is assessed, including the presence or absence of debris or bubbles. The 3D tracking graph is activated by thumbnail images of landmarks. For example, the first gastric image, the first duodenal image, and the first cecal image. Individual images can be enhanced or reviewed using these software functions. However, the diagnosis relies on the express selected mode, which allows selection of video images. In the last part of the ilium, the video recording is impaired by some debris. Then the first cecal image is clearly identified, filled with green fluid. The red color overview is more of an indicator than a real diagnostic tool. But in this case, an image showing inflammation or an angioma is selected, enhanced, and then captured as a thumbnail image. Using the express selected mode, the entire video recording is reviewed and similar pictures are compressed by the software in order to reduce the recording time. The frame per second speed can be adjusted. Abnormalities are identified and assessed using the various video functions. Another abnormality is clearly visible and is captured as a thumbnail image. If a thumbnail image is not appropriate, it can be removed. The capsule bar with index allows the user to move to a different part of the video sequence. If the software functions are not used correctly, an angioma on a selected image could easily be missed. An example of a small benign polyp that is difficult to identify and assess using the express selected mode. The choice of mode and selected image sequence are particularly important. In this case, we need to use the various features of software, including enhanced picture and different reading speeds. The highlighted thumbnail shows that this image was captured at a recording time of 3 hours 7 minutes.
Another angioma that was visible at 3 hours 12 minutes of the recording time in express selected mode is then viewed in overview mode and enhanced for assessment. An angioma identified at 4 hours 5 minutes and 0 seconds is located in the upper part of the ilium, as shown in the 3D tracking graph. Here, a further angioma is identified at 4 hours, 16 minutes and 0 seconds. At each step, we repeat diagnosis, capture and location with the 3D tracking graph. If the express selected mode shows no abnormalities, the deleted images have to be reviewed using skip mode and, if necessary, all of the recorded images need to be reviewed in normal mode. In order to complete the report, adequate thumbnails are selected and included in the printed report. Medical terms stored in the software can be used to write the report. A physician's signature is mandatory before saving and finalizing the video recording diagnosis.